it's Diana. This is the Angel Hug for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, the 18th, 19th and 20th of October. And I'm going to start for Friday with one of these lovely um, compassionate guardian angel cards. And the message I've got here is inspiration. Oh, I love this card. Okay, so the message here is a wave of inspiration and a stream of beautiful ideas are about to enter your aura. It's important that you trust your intuition at this time. Pay attention to unusual thoughts that come to your mind and do not discount your imagination. Many wonderful ideas which have served humanity were initially scoffed at or ridiculed. We, your guardian angels, will help you discover ways to apply your ideas and manifest new realities in your life. So, inspiration, fantastic. Inspiration that sometimes comes from meditation. So, today the message is going to be to start to connect, to reconnect with that stream of consciousness. Start to reconnect through meditation or just through intention with your um, desire to receive something inspired something beautiful something inspirational and just give that some time so if you're one of those people who's at work um, for someone else during the week then you're coming to Friday and it's time to start winding down or or thinking about what you're going to do with your free time then Friday is going to be a great day maybe around the afternoon to start thinking how can I become more inspired and prepare to do something more inspired and inspirational over the weekend or it might be how can I bring my inspiration to this work and to this place of work how can I do this in a more inspired way that satisfies me and I feel that inspiration is going to set the tone for the weekend so if we start to connect on Friday and we start to feel really good about the potential because we know that when we're receiving inspiration, we'll receive answers and solutions and creativity um, beyond our wildest dreams, beyond what we're able to conceive of just by using our minds. So the second one, be spontaneous and have fun. That's the message for Saturday. Let go of this need to control every single action and activity and throw yourself in. Once you open up to inspiration, what you receive in terms of opportunities and possibilities and invitations will also be along that stream. That's what we start to attract. When we ask to be inspired in all ways, it doesn't just inspire our work and, and that inspiration doesn't only inspire the, the gifts that we have and what we've come here to give. It can also inspire the opportunities and the possibilities that open up around us. So if we've asked for inspiration, then when we get to Saturday, it might be a good idea to be open to following where that inspiration leads on a practical, in a practical sense and in terms of where we go and what we do. Being spontaneous and having fun might mean doing something alone at home, but it might mean taking a chance and jumping in uh, where an invitation is concerned or the opportunity to collaborate with other inspired people. Okay, so for Sunday, I'm going to choose a card from the Daily Guidance for Your Angels because I feel that that's an interesting energy for just grounding us again into... Um, it's not really grounding. Um, time to go, it says. Okay. And it says the, the sun sets and rises each day and it's the same with the avenues in your life. See the beauty within each sunset in your life and know that the sun will also rise again tomorrow. Endings are merely the start of a new beginning and we are with you through each phase and cycle. So on Sunday, it's going to be an, a good idea to just understand what you've learnt from being inspired, from opening up to inspiration on Friday and being spontaneous and having fun on Saturday, allow that journey, that small mini journey over the weekend to make us aware of what it is that we might need to leave behind. And that might be a consciousness. It might be a way of thinking. It might be that now we've been opened up to more inspired ways of doing everything. So we need to let go of the consciousness that says, I can't enjoy it working in this way for these people or in this situation. Or maybe we need to let go of the situation. Maybe we need to let go of something else that's stopping us from being inspired the rest of the time. So we've learned from Friday and Saturday how to feel more inspired. And on Sunday, it's gonna be time to start thinking of ways to 
bring that more into our lives and to understand what it is that we need to let go of in order to remain inspired more of the time. So to be inspired all the time, that would be nice, that's kind of the ideal, but really just to be more inspired more of the time will also make a huge difference. And I'm going to pick one more card from the Angel Therapy deck, um, and this card is a card that I'm asking, how can we become more inspired? And again we've got the sacral chakra and the card is saying you're highly sensitive to chemicals, additives, processed foods and energies right now. Respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items, situations and relationships. So I'm going to say for the whole of the weekend, if you want to become more inspired and you're wondering how can I do that, what practical things can I do, I would say this is a good time if it feels right for you to maybe do a little bit of a cleanse, to maybe look at any Anything toxic that you're taking into your body that's kind of shutting you down a little bit psychically or that's impeding you because you've got the time to yourself hopefully or you've at least got um, that consciousness that intention there that you're beginning to set that you will do what you need to do become more to become more inspired so look at those things look at what can be taken away from the diet look what can be added look at what can be added maybe more water maybe more juices or just more high frequency uh, foods and drinks and also respect your sensitivities by avoiding harsh items situations and relationships so if you do need to just spend some time alone to be inspired then do that and let your spontaneous Saturday be just about spontaneously being creative get some crayons out get some paper out do some dancing do some singing write a song write do some writing um, just enjoy it and just make sure it's coming from a place that allows you to feel more connected with more of who or what you are okay that's it for the weekend everyone have a great weekend and I'll be back on Monday bye thanks for watching